What's up everybody, Rob here and Chris. And today we are going back into Pokemon, breaking an ETB of Astral Radiance. We were able to see a local hobby shop who had some good prices on some Pokemon stuff, a bit of a sale, and thought we'd give it a shot. Astral Radiance being a product that has some good value throughout, although there's really only one big hit with the Machamp V alternate full art. True. There's a bunch of cards beneath it. Uh, ultra Rare even, Ultra Rare and Secret Rare, whoop, just ruining my camera uh that are our decent value hits so mm -hmm. we decided to jump on an etb for a good price obviously in the etb we get eight packs as well as a bunch of other stuff um, that we probably will never use but um it is what it is that's how they come here's all the but it's pretty fantastic if you want to get into oh yeah if you ETB. like pokemon you want to dive into this kind of thing etbs are great value for the pack yeah. you get you get all kinds of extras but for people like us who open up a bunch it's just kind of more stuff that you don't know what to do with it's cool to look at though yeah for sure so there you go there's the actual box i'll show you from top down you get some top loaders you get a, you know an explanation of how to play the game no one's ever used that before <laughs> um who knows how to play pokemon you're in great four you made your dice like what, what do you need dice for uh, counters and uh, you, it's a different game now man it's a different stuff. game no, you always needed dice. I just never did it. I just had Charizard Fire Blast, and the, the game was over. <laughs> if I pull my Charizard, I win. Yeah, that's it. It's over. My Charizard is my Exodia. My Exodia is my Charizard. Take like that. All right. There's a little redeem thing there, and here's your sleeves, and I don't want them. Ooh, I do like the sleeves. Here's some separators. and. Ooh, I love these separators. You get a bunch of uh, energy cards, and we used to put these in our bike spokes. And make it like That's a motorcycle. True. That's very true. Fire energy means you go faster. So here you go. Here's <laughs> well, I was just thinking that. <laughs> like, you never put anything but fire in the bugs, folks. Why would you? Lightning sometimes. Sometimes. Well, definitely never water. Yeah, for sure not. All right, so eight packs, four four packs each. Uh, lead us off, Chris. All right. It's been a very long time since we've done some Pokemon. I don't know how many from the back the hit is. I don't either, but I think we're just going to dash halfway through and see whatever it is it is. All right. Um, and if you know from watching our Pokemon videos in the past, we give away all the game codes right now. So make sure you're one of the first people to view it. You can get the game code. Yes. Use it in the, the online TCG. Um, it's our gift to you. A thank you for watching. And if you want the future codes and you missed it this time, subscribe, like, press the icon to be reminded yes. when we post videos so that as soon as it gets posted, you can claim all the TCG codes. It's all for you guys. And right off the bat... Oh, you're just jumping, eh? Yeah. What is that? What's what? This? Yeah. No. That's a... The V-Star card. What, like, what, what the hell? Oh, yeah. What is Ursula, that? Rare. Um, I don't know. I pulled it in uh, one of the products before. I pulled it in Brilliant Stars. And turns out it wasn't, like, worth that much. And I quite honestly forget what its actual purpose is. And if you guys remember, literally a minute ago, we said code cards. Here's your first one. Enjoy. What is that? Yeah, that one, uh, that, that one sent me for a loop. My best guess is this is another cool part of our Pokemon videos. We don't play the TCG, so you can correct us and laugh at us as much as you want. Yeah. We're we're just gonna take a, a guess at this. I'm assuming there's some new B star mechanic in the game. I don't think or it's an actual card. It's just cosmetic. I think it's just filler. Those are my two guesses. Make it like to like throw off the weight. I don't know. Actually, yeah, it could be tough. Or thickness, or I don't I don't know. All right. Because there was because there wasn't anything super shiny in there, right? It no, it was just... reverse hollow. And okay. uh okay. well let's let's see here. Did I get one too? Is it where the hit is? No? Yes, I don't, I don't think so. Fire energy looks looks kind of cool. They added some graphics in the background there. Yeah, man, energy cards look sick. There's your code. Oh, wait, 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 what, what? Isn't that my hit, Uxie? I think so. Isn't Uxie a legendary? I don't know. What's happened? Hey, you got a trainer card. Okay. Kamado. All right, I don't know what's going on here. Kamado. Uh, I think we... you just shuffled up the cards there too much. Yeah, maybe I, I got a little ambitious. The, the back two should have been the, the two hits there. Kamado trainer was... card. And a Swine of Reverse Hollow. All right. And Uxie's like a legendary. I don't know why. They just put her on just common. Like a base. Anyways, so here's your code, by the way. All right. I'm diving into my next pack. We are going to get a reverse hollow shaman and just a rare sneezler. But don't forget, code card. There you go. All right. My second pack. Oshawott, Scyther, Stantler, Yanma, Hoot Hoot. Thievel? 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 Probably Thievel. Let's go with that. Reverse Hollow. Miss Magus. Darn. I gotta say. There is your code. Thinking about the ETB, I think it's probably one of the best products in the TCG world that can help grow your TCG with new players. 
it is such a friendly product for newcomers to the game. Yes. And I can't really think of many other TCGs that have something like that. And the hilarious part is nobody plays it. True. <laughs> it's just a lot of new people come in and, so, <laughs> and within a year they go out. There's, there's few that stick around. Not many people actually play Pokemon. Ooh, I think I got something here. They collect, but don't play. It is much more of a collector thing. I will say that. Ponyard, yeah. Reverse Hollow, and we have something. Something full, and it's something shiny. It's... Wordier v. Word, word, wordier v. Well, huh. it is centered. It is, centered. <laughs> it, is, it is. I can. I can give them that. The, the grading world that we live in. Well, <laughs> it is it's centered. centered. <laughs> that was the one takeaway that I could have there. <laughs> well, we're just gonna put this in the center. Oh god! Sometimes I hate what this hobby's become. A little bit. Next pack. Hoodoo, Ponyard, Puchena, Yanma, Drifloo, and Choi. Reverse Hollow. And, and Rick. Regigas. Regigigas. 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 That actually might be worth something. Regigigas is not a common Pokemon. He's like a. Oh, here's your code, by the way. Here we go. This is my last pack, by the way. Uh -huh. So we're coming to the end. Drifloon, Psyduck, Zisu, Zisu, and it doesn't look like I have anything here. It's just a Reg Rock. Rock. All right. But the biggest hit of all is that code card for you. Enjoy, guys. Last pack luck is coming up. We're looking for a secret rare. That's what I'm calling for here. Quite honestly, with our hits, we've probably hit the average for an ETB, which is a, a V card and a trainer card. Weird to see Growlithe like that as an OG Pokemon guy. Why is Voltor Grass? <laughs> What's happening to this he game? He looks oddly textured there. It's a nice simple pony. Thank you. Thank you for the simplicity. Just Flame Tail. Just Ponyta uh, drinking some water despite being on fire uh, and, and, and a flame tail attack. Nice and simple. We have a reverse hollow Magnezone. And, and the final hit. Cleaver. And that'll do it. Well. Oh, here's a code. Upside down. There we go. Turn your head around. I think pretty much the only two... Uh... That we can kind of show off is the weird ear v that's actually centered and uh the trainer card that's pretty much it i must say i do like the trainer cards i wish they were more common than they actually are. Uh, you they, know they what? look pretty sick I, I love the art updates that they did from like the original series and doing like full art and stuff like that i think it's great i just i don't know they, they seem just so i don't know the the rarities the frequency i don't know something something's off it just doesn't add up it, it's too cool to be worth nothing that actually is a very you know? good point. They they look so cool that it's kind of a it's kind of a blow to realize that it's worth like a dollar. Like I wish they just didn't like like don't do the alternate arts. Just just make these ones a, maybe a little more rare and all yeah. more valuable. You know they have also increased their printing like tenfold from like twenty twenty one to now. Makes sense. I think Pokemon is the one that has increased it the most. There's like billions of cards out there. It's ridiculous. I still don't know what this V Star card is. Yeah, we're gonna look that up after. That's gonna be another one for Editor Chris. Editor Chris is our um, crime solver. Uh, mystery solver extraordinaire so what is this for more deny what that is is it a redemption card no probably not probably not that'd be cool it would be cool but that was fun yeah that was all right i mean eight packs it is what it is we didn't break the bank on that box anyways it was pretty affordable so mm -hmm. uh yeah a little bit of pokemon fun for you guys if you like what you see here please take a look at all our other videos we break everything meta zoo Yu -Gi -Oh, mm -hmm. uh ufc basketball like every like we, we've done so many different things at this point so and many. much more is to come so subscribe like follow all the good things but for now we're out of packs so we're at a time see you guys later